What is up guys and welcome back. Today we've got a two pound coin hunt and a bit of mixed emotions about today's hunt because we have got unsealed bank bags. So as a big viewer of myself, obviously of coin videos, I know it's always a bit dubious when people are hunting through loose bags like these. So on one hand, I don't want to find some good stuff, but maybe not too good. So let's see what we can find. Uh, we'll refresh our memory of what we need, which is quite a lot still. And we have actually sorted out a bit more of a permanent um, stream of, of coins, so hopefully that'll be sorted soon, because again, we've had to go to the post office for these. So yeah, we need all Commonwealths. Um, we need 1908 Centenary, the Rio handover. We got Beijing, didn't we, last time? We need the Mary Rose, both the London Undergrounds, Royal Oak, Magna Carta, and of the Shakespeare's, we've only got tragedies, so we need comedies and histories there. And we've got a page of fakes, that one interesting minor error, and our only territory so far. So we always have a look through afterwards, to see if there's anything worth pointing out. And this isn't really anything special. Can you see what's wrong with this though? Yep, someone's popped the middle out, spun it round and put it back in. And they've not done a particularly good job of it because they've made a mess of the queen. You can see where they've clamped it on the sides. But yeah, that was the only thing worth uh, having another look at from last time. And again, I'll have a closer look for everything at the end of this and show you next time. So there's our first commemorative, Brunel's Arches or Brunel's Achievements. The Arches at, is it Panton Station? We are gonna, oh, yeah, this is a good start, isn't it? This is the other problem with the post office, and if you'd watched the last two pound hunt, there is our first fake in the first bag, so it's probably the ones I took back to him last time, knowing our luck. But we do get Trinity House. So not bad, not bad. We are going to speed through these. Nothing in that one. Oh, that's what we need as well. Shakespeare's histories. So that's a new one for the book. do find a lot of these around here and the skulls but we don't find comedies around here at all. The guys up in Scotland, it's got to be something isn't it? Oh it's just the old portrait but that's in stunning condition for a 97. Threw me for a second there because obviously this is the only year with this portrait on it. It was in such good shape, you just don't see that. So I think we would definitely be keeping that. Bit of a mark there, something there. But I, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's the best 97 I've ever found. That's a stunner, it's a keeper for sure. Maybe that'll be the start of a a date run for the stream because we don't have that. And I don't actually have a, a date run in my collection of the two pounds. I never did get around to doing that. So I do have a few bashed away, which I thought were quite good condition. But I don't know what's there. And I know there's not a 97 like that there. DNA double helix. Another okay find.
One I think will uh, end up being worth more than face value. Not for a while, but it will get there. I mean, you, you could probably sell one for three quid now, but as uh, myself and Christopher were saying when I appeared on his video the other, the other day there, there's a difference between something selling on eBay once for a price and it can sell in, sell in consistently for that price, you know. Um, so yeah, there's a typical 97 with that portrait. And we have an 1807, 200 years since the abolition of the slave trade. One we have, but still nice to find. We're doing okay so far, actually. I spot a fake though, is that's in fact a double fake. Can you see them? Once you get an eye for these ones, you, you can see them straight away. That's one, and then the one at the bottom is another. Ugh. 2015, 2011, 2014. So, three different fake dates, which we'll be going back. Well, we'll double check we've got those dates, but seems to be the same ones that pop up. I think 2012 is the one we haven't had. Oh, I'm not sure if it even exists. Anniversary of VE Day there. St Paul's Cathedral. Really common one though, that one. This is going to be a short video, we've only got 260 quid, that's all he could, uh, all he could spare me in the post office. And there we have terrific steam engine, not in bad condition either, quite shiny. Maybe we'll have a look see if that's a better condition one. And the one we've got, we'll put that to one side there. Do leave us a comment guys, what's your best recent £2 find? Again, getting so tough to even get them in change now, let alone find a commemorative one. I ask shops all the time, no we don't have any, sorry. There's the other Brunel. His portrait, 2006. Again, a very common one though, really. Again, there's that other portrait. Mm. You see it? The edges are just so obvious, you know, that fake just stands out an absolute mile off. Also on this end was Mr. Dickens. Again, a pretty common one though. And there's another 2011 fake. Awesome. Oops. So yeah, last time I did take I think it was three back. He was happy enough to change the swap and the two pound coins for me, so I'll be doing the same tomorrow. With those four. Shiny 2015 there. And that's our last bag, guys. So at least we filled a gap in the book. We definitely did need. Yeah, we only had um, tragedies, didn't we? Yeah, so we'll get histories in there. Then we just need the uh, ever-elusive jester comedies. Fakes, yeah, I was right. 11, 13, 14, 15 we've got. That was two 11s, a 14 and a 15. But I thought this was a bit of a peach as well, so... 
You don't see them in that shape, you know. The first ones, first year of the bimetallic. But thanks for tuning in, guys. I guess I was uh, kind of got what I asked for there. We found some stuff, but nothing too good. Uh, come back next time for the next one. We've, we'll have a £500 bag from the bank. Well, we're not doing any more from the post office. Um, we're not dealing with these fakes all the time. We may have to do some from the post office at some point, but not for now. Definitely not. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later.